at six. What better way to start the day than by spreading kindness? Using pine cones. That's exactly what a mysterious group of students has been doing for the past few months. NBC 15's Shana Najawan went to a bus stop in Middleton this morning. And Shana, that's where pine cones are being arranged into positive messages. Lee, the bus stop is located outside of Jan Berger's home. A few months ago, Berger's neighbors started noticing kind words written in pine cones on her lawn. After more comments from even more neighbors, Berger decided to investigate. We were out of town for a while and we were sitting on our front deck and a neighbor walked by and said, hey, we really like your messages that you were, you've been putting out. And we go, okay, whatever. It was March when mysterious messages started to appear on Jan Berger's lawn. We said, what are you talking about? And they said, well, there's messages in your yard. So we went and looked and there was, you know, we thought, oh my gosh, I think at that time it was be happy or something. And I thought, oh, is that ever sweet? The culprit, a group of kind-hearted middle schoolers. We didn't really have a huge inspiration. We just thought, hey, let's put out some nice words into the, in the world. The idea came about naturally when Naomi, Shelby, and Coleman would play with pine cones while waiting for the bus. Strange four-part snowman with a hundred at least, maybe, I think it was like eight. Yeah, eight pine cone arms. And we'd made a circle of pine cones around it. And then when all the snow melted, mm -hmm. it looks like an O, so we wrote a love around it. Now, their message changes every day. It will be okay. Be yourself fix the world. It also helps instead of just going on your phones, heads bent down, faces all in that blue eerie glow, you can work on writing that kind messages to others. Berger says the whole experience has been a reassuring one. People are raising some really good kids right now and I thought people need to know that there's really some goodness and happiness and we need that. As long as they make at least someone smile, that's as good enough. Berger says she isn't sure what will happen once summer comes and the kids are no longer at the bus stop every day, but she says she hopes they continue to spread their kindness into the community. Live in the studio, Shana Najawin, NBC 15 News.